Hey guys, Papa Dan, I'm back again. Two in one day. Alrighty, this is the, uh, or going to be the open box review of the Trumpeter 125th scale American LaFrance Eagle Fire Pumper. Um, as you guys all know, I'm doing a diorama for my son in tribute to my son and his fire department that he works for here in Florida and um, my first attempt at the fire truck as you all know was eh, I'm, not, I'm not really gonna say a failure but it didn't come out as as good as I had hoped um, and a bunch of guys in the community uh, you all uh, several people have mentioned on their videos about what a great gesture it was um, but several guys in the community all went together and got this kit for me. And again, I, I cannot thank you guys enough for this. Um, that was a, a great, great gesture that you guys did. Um, and a few of you have asked to see the kit um, for me to do an open box review. And as you know, I don't really do reviews, so bear with me. Uh, we'll see how it comes out <laughs> and this box is is really huge so I've had the back of my camera off a little bit so and using a different camera angle here so we'll we'll see how it comes out so anyways this is the uh, the box that it comes in and like I said it's huge it's almost 18 inches um, from side to side and I think it was, I think I measured it at like almost 11 inches high, so I mean it it's huge. But here's the uh, the side art that they have on it, and just another same picture from the from the top. And this kit also includes photo etch parts, which is really, really cool. And like I had said in a, in a previous video, um, with this being a newer model truck uh, than what the other one was that I had built, the ladder truck, I'm going to be, it looks a lot closer in fact almost right on to the uh, the truck that my son has at his station so I'm going to be able to paint this one a lot closer to what his truck actually is um, the stripe across the bottom here I believe is black on their trucks um, I'm gonna take a ride out to his station and, and take another look at them and the uh, the top of the truck here, where this is white, that is that is also black on their on their trucks. So that's the way I'll be painting this one. So let's take a look at the box here. This is how everything comes packed in the box. And what I'm going to going to do is I'm going to move that box off to the side as I just smacked my camera um, I'm gonna move the box off to the side get the camera a little closer and we'll go from there alrighty so hang on I'll be right back alrighty so this is your uh, we'll just start with the way it was packed in there this is your instruction booklet which comes with a full color sheet here for uh, painting and your decal guide and everything which is really cool so that's what that is and then these are your um, parts trees here you know where you can uh, where to find everything your uh, photo etch parts here 
and then it gets into gets into the actual building. Now one thing I, I do really like, I can tell already, because I have kind of looked through this real quick uh, before I went on vacation. The frame on this one is all one piece, so I don't have to worry about getting the frame all jibber-jabbered. So that, that's, going to, uh, that's going to help. But we'll just go through the directions here kind of quick. I mean, everybody's, everybody has seen directions before. Now what I'm thinking here, uh, this was one, one thing that I wanted to, to point out. And if this is the case, this is going to be just way too cool. This right here, with the, uh, looks like the, either fire extinguishers or the CO2 bottles, their oxygen bottles. It looks like this door is actually going to open. And uh, you'll have those bottles inside of there, which is going to be really cool. Because if you remember on the other truck, I had mentioned it, it would be cool to have those doors open. And you get into your interior here, which again looks like it's a lot more detailed than what the other interior was. The outside of your cab here. Getting into all your lights. And then the Getting into the final assembly here, getting everything put together. And getting the few ladders on there, and then it's done. <laughs> if only it's that easy. So let's uh we'll start with the we'll start with the cab here. And I've got I've got this black paper here, so hopefully these these white parts will will show up a lot better. And I'll try to uh, zoom in here a little bit. So in in looking this over, um, I see just a very faint mold line going up and across here and then back down the other side uh, but it's very very faint and that won't take but you know just a couple of seconds sanding and then it, it'll be gone and looks like you've got your your diamond plate here already scored into the plastic and again on the front, looks like a mold line coming right up along here. And one right across the top here. And a couple of, looks like probably ejector pin marks. Well, it looks like a weird place for ejector pin marks. So I'll take a look at the directions before I sand those off. But again on this side, just real faint, real faint mold line. It won't take nothing to sand that off. And then one thing here on the top, uh, if you can see it here in the reflection of the light right in here, it kind of looks like it was the, the top of the box, the way it was packed, that the top of the box was rubbing on this, so it, it's kind of not really scratched but just kind of marred a little bit and again just touch that up with sandpaper and that 
that won't be nothing. So that's the cab. And you've got your helps if I get it in frame. You've got your tires here which I don't know if you can see in the plastic bag or not but it looks like there's two different size tires uh, probably the four here for the rear and then the two for the front but they've got some real nice tread on them very nice tires and I'm not sure what these are I'm gonna have to wait till I get into the into the directions here but these are just like little foam rubber discs and it looks like the center pops out of them here so I'm sure they're probably something to do with the tires maybe something that so that they'll they'll fit better unlike the tires on the uh, the other truck that I had that do not fit at all I'm guessing that's what these are so it looks like there's one two three four five six yeah there's one for each tire so I'm gonna guess that that's what they are so that's that and you, these are your photo etch parts here and it looks like most of the photo etch is going to be the diamond plate that goes on the truck with a few uh, yeah that looks like diamond plate there too so yeah, it looks like most of the photo etch here is the uh, is going to be what the the diamond plate would be what would normally come like a chrome piece on the other truck And this is your first sprue here. And looks like this is probably your uh, the interior for the cab. And then your side panels here. exhaust stack right here so very nice very nice I see absolutely no flash whatsoever on any of these parts none very very nice you can see it's got the, uh, the diamond plating etched into the plastic here on these parts. So that's that one. Okay, now we're getting into where there's two sprues here so we'll open this bag up and more parts for your uh, for the main body of the truck this is going to be your your side panel here with all your gauges on it and everything which I haven't looked but I'm hoping that there's decals for all these gauges we'll see when we get down to the uh, to the decal sheet but again very 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 clean parts as you can see there is no flash on these at all. You do have some injector pin marks here 
on the back of this one, on the back of these, but I'll take a look at the directions because there's more here. and on this piece but I'm going to guess by looking at the pieces that it's all going to be on the inside so it's not going to matter at all and if that's the case I won't even have to mess with those which I know Rambler 69 is probably sitting there saying oh man that's not fair because <laughs> I know he's he's going through the uh, IPM on his his truck that he's building and they're they're driving him nuts so another side panel here nice detail on it and some real nice detail on this one real nice like I said again uh, I hope there's uh, decals in here oh we lost a little part came off of there. We're going to put that back in the box so we don't lose it. So your seats there across the top. Your steering wheel. There's your dashboard that has some really nice detail on it. Real nice detail on that dashboard. Very nice. And I'm going to guess these are your seat backs here. Because on, a, on the real one-to-one -one fire trucks, the reason this is cut out is because they're air tanks actually sit right back in here and it sits back in the seat so that they're not having to sit against it if that makes sense if you saw the video where um, I took Caleb to my son's station uh, when he put the air pack on uh, when he was inside the cab this is where the air pack was at it was back inside of the seat there so that's what those are there I'm sure And again, no flash at all. Looks like windshield wipers here. Some of your hose connections here. Probably for the side of the truck. Hook your fire hydrant up to. But very, very nice. This one opened here. Of course, I probably could have had all this opened up already, but I wasn't thinking, as usual. And this looks like it's going to be suspension parts for the chassis. And again, some really nice detail. Really impressed with the detail on these parts. Wow. I mean, I'm I'm looking at this at the for the first time, the same time you guys are, and th this is really, really impressive. And again, as you can see, looking at these parts, there is no flash on any of these parts. Again, you got, you know, some injector pin marks on the inside here. But again, it's on the inside. So, don't even have to worry about it.
and more more frame components here I'm sure no oh, I can't wait to get started on this one boy you guys did awesome Great, great detail. Wow. I am just in awe. <coughs> this is the bag of clear parts here, which I'm just gonna I'm gonna leave these in the bag for obvious reasons. But this is just awesome. Very, very clean. There's one part, one window there that's broke off, but it's a, I, I can't see that it's scratched at all. So very, very nice. Very nice. And it looks like on this one, I'm going to guess looking at these parts right here here these that these are for the lights so instead of like the AMT kit where it's just a solid chrome light or solid chrome piece that these will actually have the uh, the glass on the lights which is outstanding And a couple of more side pieces here, and yep, I'm going to bet, bet that this is the piece where the oxygen bottles and fire extinguishers are going to go inside of. So it does look like that's going to have an opening, an opening side panel there. Outstanding, great. Another side piece there. Very, very cool. Here's the here's the chassis. We'll pop that out of the bag real quick. And look at the detail on that. That is just too cool. Man, I am Im impressed majorly. Alrighty, so that's your that's your chassis. And it looks like we got one more chrome tree here, or I'm sorry, a white plastic here. There's your uh, there's your fire extinguishers there. Couple of other bottles. This looks like it may be the uh, the tarp that would go over the hose on the top. Your ladders here, going across the top is another ladder. A ladder here on the side. Again, even on these these small parts here, they've got you know the the diamond plate is etched into the uh, 
is etched into the plastic. And you got some more of your looks like your fittings for the hoses. some hose reels right here oh man I can't wait to get into this one and then your chrome tree there's your wheels there Very, very nice. And once again, no flash to clean up at all. Your siren, maybe a couple of lights. Looks like your front bumper here. Very, very nice. Very, very nice. And then we've got the decal sheet. Which I don't know how many of these decals I'm going to be using. Because what I'm going to try and do is uh, get over to my sun station and get some good clear pictures of the the lettering and the numbering and whatnot on his truck and then um, make some decals myself or uh, my good buddy Tom down there Rambler 69 I know he's made made some decals before and he's he's helped me out with that before so we'll get a a trip down to Orlando planned. Then the last thing in the box is more photo etched parts and what these are these are stretchers and there's there's six of them or at least that's what they look like to me is that they would be stretchers but there's, there's six of them here. That is just too cool. It even comes with little photo etch stretchers. We'll have to see if maybe I can work this into one of one of the guys carrying one of these into the house or something or see if I can maybe do some work on a couple of the guys and maybe they can be carrying somebody out. I don't know, we'll see. I may be getting way ahead of myself. So that's what it is. That's the uh, the unboxing there of the 125th scale trumpeter fire truck. And just looking at these parts, there is absolutely no comparison. I mean, no comparison to this and the the AMT truck. I it's like trying to compare apples to oranges you can't do it this is so much more cleaner and yeah it's amazing this kit is just amazing so alrighty well this has gone on for 25 minutes I was hoping it wouldn't take that long um, I was probably a little slow looking at the parts because of the fact that I was in awe looking at them for the first time myself. So, all right, guys, we'll talk at you later. And thanks a lot for subscribing. And we'll talk at you all later. Bye.